maybe we'll have our camera a little bit lower. See how that goes. Um, what's happening? So yeah, we're gonna construct bridges in Portal. I'm very excited. I love Portal. And the title of today's stream is Should There Be Another Portal Game? And if your answer is a yes, then you can leave. <laughs> you can get out. <laughs> because that is the only correct thing to say. So you want to be reassigned as chief? Oh. I wonder if this is going to cover some of the text eventually. We'll see. Um, so you want to be reassigned as chief custodian of, for the Aperture Science Vehicular Hurdling Initiative. Um, is there another position available? Yes, incinerator inspector, and you start today. But <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> we'll just continue just killing all these people over and over and over again. <laughs> yes, for science. That's the spirit. We admire your principles so long as they're ours. It's very corpo. I'm required by protocol to conduct an interview with you. It will contain one question. Are you ready? Hold on, what is the question gonna be? The question, wait, are you trying to be funny? Well, here's a funny question for you. Will a body fall slower through warm air? Try it out and send me a smoke signal. <laughs> How many ways can we die? Um, so yes for science. Okay. Um, are you ready? Yes. Sue yourself, now tell me. What would you do if life gave you lemons? Ooh, and make lemonade. Let's see how that goes. Good thinking. That'll be refreshing after your tour of the incinerator. <laughs> this has to be a achievement, right? Die every single way in the intro. <laughs> yes, for science. Okay. Yes. I'd make life take the lemons back. Any Johnsons? Here, I'm gonna move my camera. Actually, I don't know which one's higher. Or the I don't know. I don't know if that one's lower or higher than the Valor one, but we'll do this one. So we can read together. Um, any Johnsons in your family tree? That's the kind of chief custodian attitude we need. Now get to your desk and make us proud. We died in every way. Yay! Aw, the other people walked off. Okay. Let me know if it's too loud. This kind of feels loud. Don't get too cozy reading construction magazines. It's time to get started. Enrichment Center regulations uh, require that all trainees pass a battery of custodial proficiency tests. Don't worry, we'll be securely withholding your paychecks during this prohibitionary period. Great. It seems loud to me. I even turned down the music. Um, this series of test chambers will test your construction and deduction skills. Are you ready to earn your golden chief custodian hat? Okay. After this, I'm going to see if I can lower it again. I already lowered it and I thought it was good. Well, it was good. I didn't think it was good. It was good. Hello, <laughs> and welcome back to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. According to internal provisions, all applicants must complete this test series for testing series <laughs> tests. Before we start, however, please note that serious injuries may occur. The Enrichment Center is proud to announce that your family will be notified in the event of a work fatality with no additional garnishment to your wages. Your first task is to build a bridge so that a test vehicle can reach the test chamber exit. First, we need to remove the useless assembly left by your predecessor, <laughs> and we don't mean their family. <laughs> okay, let me... Oh, I can't pause. They're like, no, you have to do the tutorial before we let you do anything. Oh, I see. Excellent. Your ability to destroy without question is quite <laughs> impressive. 
Next, we will supplant a new construction using Aperture Science Convertible Scaffold Planks. So they can be anywhere, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, within like the little dot radius, I see. Oh, no, I can move it. Oh, wait. No, I can't. Guess I would just have to undo it. Are you not happy with my building? Press on the construction point to start. Move the cursor to desired end location. And press again. Can't use the controller to show the controller tutorial. Oh, I do have the controller attached just in case because I wasn't sure. But okay, I did it right. Are they like, you need more structures? I did it. I think I'm good. Follow the guy. Oh, follow the guidelines. I didn't read the instructions. <laughs> I guess I could have cut that. They're like, we're trying to teach you how to build a good one first. The bridge still <laughs> requires a roadway for the test vehicle to drive on. Fortunately, each Aperture Science convertible scaffold plank can be converted into a roadway and vice versa at any time. A component. Oh, okay. Very good. Let a test vehicle run over your bridge to test it. Call it a day. That's it. Can I? There we go. Now we can. Um. Do I have to go to the main menu? Surely not. Best practices. I guess we have to exit the main menu to do the thing. Lower the music bit, lower the voice, and maybe? I don't know. It's crazy because it sounded fine <laughs> in, in test record. Okay, click to start. Welcome to test chamber two. Thank you. To overcome obstacles, you will often need to construct your bridge uphill or downhill. This roadway leads uphill, but is not suitable for vehicles. However, instead of destroying these components, we will modify their location. Hold on the yellow hinge point until moving mode is activated, then drag the hinge point. Ah, I knew that I should be able to do that. And I tried to do that the last time, but it did not Very like good. <laughs> now build the supports underneath. Excellent. The first bridge is ready. Now we will construct a vehicle ramp for hurdling to the exit. Looks like it wants a specific one here. Like, uh, build? Because, yeah, it's definitely forcing me. We're sorry for... We are sorry to interrupt for an important message. This is a menu. Yeah, I already looked at it. <laughs> okay, drive. Do the things. Whew, I felt like it wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> 
Test vehicles delivered. One out of six. Marginal. Convoy? Oh. Oh, jeez. Excellent. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you wastefully spent 13700 Oh, my God. That's funny. Next level. <laughs> okay. I kind of want to go back to the first one. I didn't know Convoy was a Please thing. Please observe this test chamber layout and note that it is impossible for the vehicle to reach its destination. Yes. For this task, the test chamber will be enhanced with an Aperture Science Quantum Tunnel, or more commonly called a portal. portal. The portal will open in three, two, one. Any vehicle that enters one side of the portal will instantly exit from the other side at the same speed. Okay. Your rapid progress has demonstrated that even the simplest employees can doodle a bridge, while our expert drivers handle the complex physics of navigating through portals. Uh-huh. <laughs> Definitely. The portal element has arrived. Hey, she was a portal element. <laughs> I would have been fine with just that. Very good. Testing procedure requires that this test will not allow supporting the bridge from below. Yes. However, we can use the construction attachment points above to suspend the bridge with Aperture Science Multipurpose Super Cables. Multipurpose Super Cables consist of tightly rolled shower curtains <laughs> and can be stretched over long distances. That seems very unsafe. Oh, I see. So then I go to this new thing. This new Perfect. Okay. Now send the vehicle through the portal. But they'll die. Don't worry. These intradimensional gates have been proven completely safe for custodial staff. But but they'll die. <laughs> Shower curtains. It's the best means of you know holding up bridges, obviously. And dead. Please note. <laughs> To protect valuable testing apparatus, vehicle drivers are not permitted to make contact with the deadly fluid on the chamber floor. I know. Your employee photo will be provided in the vehicle driver's cause of <laughs> death form in the event of your failure. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, back to building. Yay, I get to be my own person. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the rip, Biddy. Okay, it looks like we have shower curtains from here. And that's not gonna do anything. I can't. Hmm. Okay, so let's do that and let's do that. I don't know that that's gonna be enough to hold it up. I guess we'll see. It will not. <laughs> it will not. Death. <laughs> Back to build. Okay, so then I think I want to make another one. I think cross over. And same with that. And then. Oh, but I can't, like... Oh, I can't. Okay. Maybe this? These are high-quality, taller general shower curtains. <laughs> oh, so that did not attach to that like I wanted it to. Okay. It's not what I wanted. I thought it was connected. Okay. Well then, I mean, that, these are unnecessary. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh. That sucks. Oh, dang. That doesn't seem great either, though. 
I mean, what am I gonna do? We'll drive again. <laughs> Looks like it's fine. I guess we'll see. Does the weight change it? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay. Convoy! Ooh, I wonder if he'll be able to hold a convoy, though. Since it gets all that bumpiness. Okay, good. For you! Excellent. I really want to go to that first level and redo it. Ugh. 67 66% lost, 20 convoys delivered. <laughs> okay. Multiple pairs of portals can exist at the same time. That's cool. I couldn't do that. One of them is leading to a deadly laser field. Mm -hmm. It appears red to discourage casual contact. <laughs> I am registering an increased heart rate and galvanic skin response, obviously due to the fact that you are not able to tell which portal will lead the vehicles into the lethal deadlock. Yeah, there is no, uh, color coding. To compensate for your lack of clairvoyant abilities, we will alter the portal's spectral radiance. From now on, interlinked portals will always have matching colors. Oh, thank you. I thought it was just going to be trial and error, and you know what? I was going to be happy with that. <laughs> okay, let's build. Start at the beginning. Okay. Well, I guess first. So I need to end at red, so I'll probably go to blue. Light blue. Just make a nice little straight line up. We definitely need gonna need some suspension cables. I guess we'll see if that's enough. It just doesn't feel like it should be, especially when you know it's made of shower curtains, but the other one was fine <laughs> with just the one. So we'll see what happens there. So then we are going from light blue to red. Nothing too crazy. And then use our shower curtains. Once again. Oops. I think I'll attach that one to both of them. I wonder if these will be stable enough since they're attached to this. I would think so. It's my thought. Oh, and then I just have to hope that it has enough to go from there to there. Okay. Let's test it out. Okay. Good so far. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Easy. Let's do the convoy. Oh, wow. They're quick. <laughs> Easy peasy. I wonder if there will be a time that I'll have to redo the build for the convoy. I don't know. This test chamber only has construction attachment points at the start and end of the roadway. Mm -hmm. In such cases, the bridges must be self-supporting, with arch scaffolds placed in a triangular formation. Yes. We provided two bridges as structural reference. It should be a simple matter of copying this design to bridge Hello, the remaining gaps. Hello, motherfucker. I call mix. Okay. So. And I guess we just need to go from light blue to yellow next. Start with our straight line over. It goes easy. Easy so far. We've had very few casualties. <laughs> It 
helps that I've actually taken engineering classes. So, I understand the importance of triangles. Okay. And then yellow to purple. Oops. Too much. Should make them roadways. Okay, I think we're good. Let's drive. <laughs> I have cheat codes in my mind. I know. The ones um, I always had trouble with bridge construction was um, that Goo game, World of Goo. That one I had issues with. <laughs> We'll see if this gets to that level. Is it? Yeah, those are like stress points of it. If they're definitely going any faster. I think it would fail. Cause like, you can see the bar turn like a slight bit of red. So, have to figure that out. I feel like it keeps giving me the same achievement over and over. It says I haven't even achieved anything. I have. <laughs> I did things. Please note the closed door before the exit. I do not want to build um, bridges. I did go to the pre-engineering academy and um, it was fine. But yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to build bridges. <laughs> or architecture in general. I would much rather um, design than architecture. Please note the closed door before the exit. Yes, I see. At least one vehicle must press the blue aperture science one touch super button <laughs> to open the door to the exit. Vehicle pads may cross when there are several portal pairs. But please don't panic as this may distract the drivers. Vehicle paths may cross when there are several portal pairs. Okay. To compensate for a broad range of applicant ability, the enrichment center is required to provide all applicants, especially you, with useful advice. Okay. <laughs> the advice for this test chamber is as follows. Build a stair so that ash the healer for exit. Mm. Very simple. Thank you so much. That third bridge be different, I know. Pre engineer, engineer, mm hmm. Yeah. Lots of courses to be like, hey, could you make it? Actually, I don't know. No, because it kind of gave me a leg up because it was in high school, so it would give me a leg up in college um, for the different courses I would need. And I did because um, I took higher math courses in it, which was very good because when I first – I went to a private school. was my first school, which was very stupid. Um, and then I moved to public school, and when I did that – they just, they, I didn't even take, like, a test to figure out, like, where I scaled on anything of, like, my learning abilities, and they just assumed that I was super stupid, so they put me in the dumb math classes, um, and yeah, that really sucked, because then I was super bored, I was getting my homework done way before others, and, um, it was not challenging at all, and it was not preparing me for the calculus three that I would eventually take to do what I'm doing today. So yeah, it's fun stuff. Imagine assuming rain was dumb. I, I'm very mad at them still. And that was in the sixth grade. <laughs> Class is still an asshole. I see always, always. She's only slightly nice when she's potato GLaDOS, but otherwise, just the worst. Okay, 
So what am I what am I trying to do? What am I trying to do? So blue goes to blue, then we'll run over to yellow, and then yeah, then we just have to keep going. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So we'll start up here. I'm gonna kinda dip it down. Hmm. Can that reach? I can almost, can I make any of these longer maybe? Maybe I didn't do the longest I could. It makes it almost to it. I'm gonna put it there. Oh, it wants me to use a shower curtain. I don't like using the shower curtains. It feels unsafe. How would that be the point of contact for all that? But that's not going to be enough, for sure. Actually, if it goes here, it's going to, like, hit, right? If it comes down, it goes through, and then we have this huge ramp immediately. Maybe it'll just ramp nicely to it and I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to build down below. Feels like too much. Oh, but if I do, if I just ignore that middle line. This might be too much, honestly. Why don't you want to connect to this one? Now can I move it? Yes, okay. It feels like too much. But we don't really have shower curtains. There's lots of triangles going on. I don't know if that's gonna go well. I love these kind of games. I like them because I like the physics of them, but I am also bad at them. I at least was with the world of goo, I think. Isn't that what I have? Yeah, World of Goo. 2016 I played it. <laughs> Cause I think this was like the same thing if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah. Where you had to like make bridges, but it was different. Cause sometimes you'd have to go like straight up. And they were very wobbly. <laughs> that one I was not good at. <laughs> I guess let's test. Let's test and see what happens. Yeah, see, I thought that that would happen there. Uh, yeah, I was only testing that part. Oops. I didn't make it all the way. I just wanted to test this. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. This one was not happy. It had a lot of stress on it. Well, maybe I can actually help that with... Um, you don't like that. I wonder if it matters, though. Hmm. I guess that has to stay there. If it matters, though, that those people fell off. I mean, that was not in my control. Unless I slow them down before they get there. It wouldn't be much of a slowdown, though. Okay, we'll leave that as is, and let's go ahead. So then it went to yellow, yellow to here. It did that just fine. It didn't even need anything. So now we just need to get from purple to the exit, so. Um, just 
just gonna build the road that I want. And then we'll construct from there. Okay, and then having something this way would be helpful too. Okay, let's try this out. See what what's up. Hmm, that one's still red. And then yeah, those people fall off. I don't know if that's a bad thing. Oh. That's true. It did not like that. But sure, I guess I didn't need it for a while because it didn't... It was pretty good until like about here anyways. So let's remove this stuff. Actually, we might even be good with just this. I'll maybe go ahead and make that a regular thing. Actually, yeah, let's try this. We might already have it. Those people will fall off. Which I guess it's fine. <laughs> Come through. Perfect. Go through. Perfect. A little bit of stress, but not too bad. I don't know if a convoy is going to make this, actually. Because of this pressure point right there. Okay, they're going slowly. Oh, no, no. Ah! <laughs> Collision. Absolute chaos. Um, as long as they get here, though, they're fine. <laughs> but, um, you know, that did not work. Okay. Oops, oops, nope. I wanted to build again. I didn't mean that. <laughs> Okay, you gave out, um, but I can't, yeah, I guess I can build these up. I don't need to just work on the shower curtains. So let's go ahead and build these up as well. To nice structural support triangles. Actually, you know, I want to try to not even use shower curtains. Let's see. Let's see even without the shower curtains at all. If, um... Nope. <laughs> it needs a shower curtain. Got it. Never mind. <laughs> well, I guess that makes sense because it, it does need, um... Some way of holding up to the ceiling. Which makes sense, I guess. And add them all back. Oops. Because you're crossing over a bar, you don't like that? It's weird. Well, I want the bar there, though. I feel like that's a structurally better triangle um, than anything else. Okay, let's try that. Hmm, it's still not happy, maybe because of the weight of it. So it's, it's taking into account the weight of everything, I think. Let me go ahead and get rid of all this and start fresh. Um, let's see. But this needs to hold on to something. But then, yeah, I guess I can have it be held this way. Um, I probably would just want maybe a support triangle here that connects there. That might put a lot of stress on this shower curtain. But I think we'll be better off. So let's see. Okay. 
Still got some red there. But it's not as bad for sure. <laughs> okay. We're doing it. Everything's fine. Beautiful. Oh, oh. Wow. That last one really had <laughs> some uh, twists and turns. Okay. Nice. Easy. <laughs> Yeah, finish every test chamber in chapter one. Ex like, why do I keep getting that achievement little thing coming up? Remember that vehicles will maintain their speed when driving through a portal. Yes. As you can see, it will need a lot of speed to hurdle the middle wall. <laughs> I know, if they didn't cross paths correctly, it would have been uh, catastrophic. But luckily, they were nicely timed. <laughs> okay, so it will need a lot of speed to hurdle the middle wall. Yeah. The Enrichment Center would like to remind you that the entire vehicle must reach the exit to earn a positive mark on your testing record. Okay. For other critical testing anecdotes, please refer to the Library of Best Practices, which is now available to you effective immediately. Best Practices? Oh. Yes, the triangle. Sister supporting struts. Shallow angles are inefficient. Yeah. Uh, not all arches are effective. Math! <laughs> Simple construction may be sufficient in many cases can lead to the behavior of the falling vehicle in the convoy. Additional strutting, converse bracing allows you to reduce bounce. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Ah, man! <laughs> okay, let's see. Um... I mean, we're already at a downward angle. It's not much more speed you can do than that. Definitely don't want to have it be a let me think creatively for myself. <laughs> um, let's see, I want it to be at a good angle. Yeah, like that. Where there isn't like a straight line like there was before. Okay, so we have that. That'll be our roadway. I guess let me build the roadway first. Okay, so then we go here. It's gonna launch. Oh, there's little people here. That's funny. Okay, so <laughs> we'll launch. And we might just make it, depending on the speed. But the fact that it has stuff to build here makes me think that we will definitely need it. I don't know. I don't know how much speed we're having to figure out the arc. But I guess I'll assume that it hits right here. Just for safety. <laughs> so then, I mean, we don't really need speed for this. But we still want it to be a nice angle. That isn't too jarring. Maybe something like that. Okay, and now the supports for this. Let's go ahead, get our triangles going. And then yeah, I think. The 
that might be a bit overkill. But who cares? Don't forget about the sisters. The sisters? What? The sisters? What are you talking about? In the library, it said something about the sisters. About the sisters? I guess I wasn't really reading. <laughs> what sisters? Okay, I'm not seeing sisters there or there. I think it, uh, maybe it's sister supporting struts <laughs> there. <laughs> I was looking at the diagrams going, yep, got it, got it. <laughs> I was not reading the words. <laughs> the sisters. Obviously. The sisters. You want them to be nice angles for everything. Definitely make. That's convoluted. And probably unnecessary. We'll do, yeah, a point like that. Yeah, not very happy with this up here, but I think it might be fine because I don't even know if they're gonna hit this part. if I really wanted to go overboard we could build a whole system down here if we want to go super overboard I actually don't like that angle yeah Monster. I don't know if that will do anything that will help us, but it looks nice. Oy vey. I totally fail this if all I had was brothers. <laughs> you need sisters. Let's see what happens. Fine there. Okay. Yeah. I think you can make it through the convoy even, actually. This had a little bit of stress on it, but we'll see. Yeah, not enough stress to break, but not great. Probably because I added all the extra stuff, honestly. <laughs> that did not help. <laughs> Same, I was set up for failure by the parental units. <laughs> How did they uh, fail you? Set you up for it? Please note that this test chamber's exit is very near the top. Mm hmm. The vehicle drivers will need speed and crossing paths to complete this test on your behalf. Okay. We believe in you, applicant 9723. <laughs> If you are not applicant 9723, please submit a sporadic encouragement request form 274 days prior to testing. I am actually applicant 24601. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The disrespect. My god. <laughs> Only gave me brothers. Ah, oh, I see. 
That's true. Gaff only got brothers too. <laughs> 9723, your number has been updated. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's go to the blue first. Oof. But that's rough. Because we don't want it to get in the way of this fall. Let's set up just like what I generally want it to be is like that. But we can't have this, <laughs> basically. And I'll, actually, I think I need that to be shorter maybe even. Maybe there. So in that case, I probably want it to ramp up a bit. So just a little bit, just so that they make it. <laughs> so that they can ramp, get over here. I can make this a little long. I don't know, I guess it can be flat to catch them. But I definitely need that to ramp. I'm worried that they're gonna hit this, but I guess maybe that doesn't matter because then they'll still come down onto the path that we want. I'll make that straight. Okay, I'm gonna even this out so it's a midpoint-ish, just for easier construction. So from here, I probably want, oh, I can't reach. Oops. We'll go with the simple is better approach. <laughs> okay. Um, and fix as needed. much better with that actually okay and then I can actually use some shower curtains here even to help out so we'll do that so then it's gonna go through they're gonna fall through the yellow and then they're gonna go up and they probably just need a little ramp here to help them the rest of the way not too shabby. It doesn't feel like. What angle would they be going at? I mean, maybe I feel like they just need enough to touch their wheels on and keep going. Would I want them to be like in a straight line like that for the path? That seems too simple. I don't know where they'll land, I guess. Um, oh, it doesn't reach. Here, I'll create multiple paths, yeah. So we can get our triangles a little bit better. those be driving paths I don't know I don't love that but let's see what it looks like in action okay yep we're good there they go straight down and then huh. you know what I almost want to do I almost want to make Oh, I wish uh, so they went straight up I almost want to make like a little ramp just like enough that they don't hit it coming out but that it catches them 
and then they dry continue driving. So let's see. God, that's not gonna be fun though to make. So I think like, oops. I think that's like the most I might. I don't even know if I can get away with that much. I might need to bring that in a bit. And then I can. Ah, too much. I want to move this. Okay. So let's start attaching this stuff. And I think I'll actually do some bottom supports as well. Just to help with the stability of it. Okay. Let's try this out. You don't love that. I don't love that. It's it's not happy already. Oh no. Okay. And then they get launched. Uh-huh. Oh, but they do not have enough to drive themselves back up, so no. Okay. Let me see where they hit, or where they get to. Mm hmm So they're reaching, like, there. Maybe if I just make a straight line right here, we'll be fine. Then it'll catch them and they don't have to go uphill. Okay. Okay. I think we just need a straight line. Like, I want to make sure that I do catch them, but I don't want to get in the way. I guess we'll see. We'll see if this gets in the way. Um, let's do some bottom. That might be fine. Okay. So we're driving. Great. We hit that really hard. Maybe we need to fix that eventually. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. Perfect. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay. Convoy now. Okay. So far fine. Uh-oh. Hopefully the timing works out for everybody. Doing good. The bridge has a little bit of stress on it. But it's recovering. It's really just that first hit that it doesn't love and then it recovers. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Next level. Nine out of 60? There's 60 of these things? Wow. <laughs> this chamber will include untested testing apparatus. Previous tests have shown that applicants who are more anxious about the increased complexity will take comfort in the following sounds. <laughs> we can see from your biofeedback monitor that your mood has nearly improved to acceptable limits. <laughs> Good. Gross. The red, heavy-duty, super-colliding super button must be permanently pressed to hold the door open. Okay. There is also a vital apparatus yes. vent. When activated, it drops a weighted companion cube. I love the companion cube. If you've been paying attention, the solution should be obvious. <laughs> As the case may be, good luck. Okay. 
I thought this was going to be challenging, freezing through this. Rain equals big brain. <laughs> big brain. <laughs> brain shadow. Uh, I'm sure it will be. There's definitely going to be a point that I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, so we come out here. But we first need to go up to press this button. So that then it activates somebody going there. Okay. Once again. Don't influence me. <laughs> okay, so I first need to go to the blue. So let's do that. I'm not going to worry about the paths crossed crossing right now. I'm just gonna... Oops. I wanted to make them... Yeah, there we go. Like, even. Okay. Ish. Hydrate with my color-changing Dr. Pepper Pop. I love it so much. Okay, so this will be my road. We'll get to blue. We'll press the button. Companion cube will fall. Companion cube will then also sit on that button for us. So then we just need to create a ramp up here. Oh, so I don't have to worry about the paths crossing. Because I shouldn't. Because, yeah, then we'll just drive up. That will be open at that point, and we can come on through. Okay. Let's start with some shower curtains. Actually, I don't know if that one's needed. It feels like the shower curtains are really just needed for these pieces. Kind of help out there. Um, can probably also use them for down here. Oh, but it doesn't like it because they're like on the same wavelength. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So shower curtains are fine. Just as a ta I want to see what happens with just the shower curtains. Is it fine? That presses that for us. The vehicle is the only thing that matters. We might not even need anything. I want to see. Let's see if the convoy works. Just shower curtains. <laughs> what is even bridge constructor portal? We're fine. <laughs> All I have to do is use shower curtains. That's not hard. Goddamn. Okay. <laughs> the fuck <laughs> oh my goodness oh I get no talking this time she's she's left us okay don't influence me okay we need to get here but first we need that button to be pressed Companion cube can fall. Okay. So we first need to come over here, press this. Companion cube falls, but it will not fall on the button. So we need to make a ramp to have it fall on the button. Okay. I can do that. Can I make a shower curtain and then point from here? Yes, okay. Okay, um, I might go ahead and do that. Just, oops. Just have a little bit of a starting point. There. <laughs> 
there's no point in error that they will not fall onto there. I would hope so. Okay, so let's shower curtain. I guess we should really just be trying to shower curtain first and see what happens. I feel like the shower curtain definitely, though, will be fine for the companion cube. Just needs to get there. Um... I'd feel better about my design, though. Doesn't really matter. No, that's not what I wanted. Um. Yeah. There. Um, okay, so from here. Okay, so we go. We'll press the button. Mm. Things. Okay. So we'll drive on this, we'll press the button, companion cube will fall, press that button, we'll be launched, we'll come here, and then we just need to get up there safely. So let's go ahead and do that, then maybe a little bit of that, and that, and then there. Um, make it a bit angled, I think we're good with this sort of ramp. And let's do some shower curtains. Ooh, we could actually do shower curtains from here as well. I kind of want to test out this shower curtain thing even more and see if this <laughs> will be enough to hold it. Uh, maybe I'll add one more shower curtain there. But I am, uh, I am curious to see how durable these shower curtains are. Companion cube falls, hits the button, and yep, we're fine. <laughs> but now we actually got it. Finish every test chamber in chapter one. Let's do a convoy. These shower curtains. They're a little crazy. I don't even have to do anything. The shower curtains are doing it all. <laughs> Next level. Oh. By taking our shower curtains away. <laughs> it wasn't plugged in. Cake. <laughs> Congratulations, trainee 9723. By completing the first testing stage, you've earned the opportunity to continue testing. Great. <laughs> Failure to continue testing will result in detainment until the next semi-annual reassignment phase. <laughs> yeah, everyone fell off. <laughs> that does not matter. Under fire. Congratulations. You've made it farther than anyone expected. <laughs> Unfortunately, testing conditions will not be getting any less dangerous. This test includes sentry turrets. Ooh, the sentry turrets. Vehicles <gasps> seen by the turrets targeting laser are marked for disqualification, followed by rapid disassembly. The blue lines in this chamber are aperture science material emancipation grills. They will vaporize all aperture science testing apparatus 
except for the test vehicles. Okay. No, my turrets. I love the turrets in Portal. The turrets are back. <laughs> okay. So. Go through. The vehicle will be fine there. But it can't be seen by this turret at all. So it wants me to ram into the turret. I kind of want to see what it looks like when you, um, you don't. <laughs> yeah, let's see what happens when you just don't. Dispensing product. Goodbye. I love the turret so much. Oh, it has the perfect voice. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we need to go through the portal. I guess. <laughs> Evil? No. The poor the turrets are amazing. They are not evil. Can I go? Yeah, I was about to say I probably can't. Actually, probably stick those together. Um, probably just the one there. Okay, so it goes through like that, and then oops. Okay, so then we go through the portal, and then we want to ram into the turret from behind. Just rude. I don't know what I feel about that. It's holding up at least on its own. Ah, I was wondering if that gap was going to be bad, but then it just doesn't want to do anything else. I guess I can go higher and then I'll just kind of ramp into it. <laughs> no, not the turret. So sad. No hard feelings. That was the the achievement. I did not like it. Go ahead, give me the convoy. They gotta work. No. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Traffic jam. Uh oh. Uh oh. The convoy did not work. <laughs> Where did we mess up? <laughs> Who, 
Where was the issue? It's at that drop. I guess I can make a ramp <laughs> on the drop <laughs> rather than just a straight line. Okay. Convoy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now there still might be a traffic jam here. Oh, oh, they're gonna make it. They're gonna make it. They'll figure themselves out. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Jeez. For you. Okay. Look at all those turrets. GG. Um, okay, so what? So first through the blue. Okay, so we have that. We'll be fine there. Goes through the blue. We go here. Goes through yellow. Which we don't want. So it's going to need to go up behind them. Such as that. Then it'll hit them from behind. It'll probably be fine actually ramping over here. Going to yellow. From yellow, then we're going to have to ramp up back this way. So I almost need to make that to be like this. So that we first ramp... Oops. So we first ramp this way, and then we ramp that way. Now you only have 2k. Ripperoni. We'll see if that's enough for this way. I feel like it won't be. But, maybe. Here, let me go ahead. Well... So if I then, I don't know. We'll see. I guess we'll see what happens there. 19k. <laughs> so many points. Okay. I'll just go ahead and just build. I guess we'll see what this is like. So, go through. Nice. Ramp up. Not enough. Not enough. And then they're gonna get killed! <laughs> okay. So. Need more. Altitude! Okay. See what that does. Go through the first portal. 
ramp up. Oh, almost. Almost. That was much, much closer. I feel like they don't have enough speed, maybe? Yeah, that's all I wanted. Maybe if I start them at a better angle? better okay through the portal this is what we care about okay we do make it there so sad i don't know that this ramp is gonna make it yeah that's what i was worried about by going so high that it was gonna have issues <sighs> well, but maybe I just need this one to also be larger, like a higher angle as well. So, let's go ahead. And I can really build it right to where they would hit it. I think that would be fine. Brutal. Okay, so we'll hit there. We'll be fine. We'll make it. So sad. Oh, I hate that. I think this ramp will be fine now. Whew. Kind of close. Kind of close. Convoy. Now I don't hate you. I don't hate you. Ugh. Uh oh. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Seems fine. Everything's chill. It's killing me that I didn't do the convoy for the first one. <laughs> it really is. This test includes the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. Mm. It was used to test if applicants could resist the urge to catapult test vehicles. <laughs> I mean, can you though? I don't think so. You have to. The result? 142% of applicants couldn't resist. The additional 42% is from resourceful applicants who catapulted other testing apparatus in addition to the vehicle. <laughs> okay. I love the calming music that's happening with all this too. Kind 
want to start building out to it. Okay. Oops. We'll have lots of shower curtains. Actually, I think we'll have to really test just a shower curtain build first. <laughs> Just to really put it to the test. The only part I'm worried about is this middle part. There's really nothing there. But shower curtain only test first. Um, okay, so then they'll come through the portal. And then we need to launch them. can't make it all the way. Mmm. It's kind of annoying. Okay. And then it's gonna launch. I mean, is that actually the angle? Because it feels like it would just hit the wall. <laughs> Have something to catch them. Shower curtains only. <laughs> or we can at least. Ooh, no. The shower curtains are better than my own building. I guess we'll see where it ends up. Dang. It did not like that. I don't know if it went. I think we could maybe get away with just this. Yeah, I don't like this either. I guess I'll put that back. I think I had that the first time. Okay, we go through the shower curtains just fine. <coughs> Yeah, I was about to say, that trajectory just has them um, hit the wall. You don't need anything but shower curtains. do anything with any less <laughs> oh my goodness fortunately the vehicle drivers are trained to stay on the road to success under extreme circumstances such as not being on a road while being bombarded with testing apparatus <laughs> okay So, we drop down, we go through, we're gonna get hit by the turret. So we need to go to this blue portal, come down here, cause then I'll press the button, companion cube will launch and hit the turret, I think. <laughs> um Yeah. Um Okay. Then through the yellow portal and then we'll have to go. Okay, so first to the blue portal here. Um just gonna place one down so I can build from here. I think 
I'll be fine. Like, to get us into the portal, that angle. I guess I'll put it a little bit higher so that we for sure get in the portal. Um, maybe make the angles a bit nicer. Um, okay. Shower curtains. We'll see the limits of shower curtains, <laughs> I think. Um, eventually, eventually we'll figure out where their, uh, their cap is for being perfect. Oh, actually, I think I just need it for those two, right? Probably move this a little bit. Where the curtain meets the demise, yes. There's got to be a point where we can't just build shower curtain things. Okay, so we're going to hit that button. That's going to launch. I think it'll just launch straight to it and hit it. Um, I don't know if we need to hit that button. Oh, there's a, there's a line there. So we do. But the turret might do that for us. I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Um, yeah, we can't build into the acid. That makes sense, I guess. Okay, and then that will launch us into this yellow, which that's such a sucky <laughs> drop. Um, but we really just need a ramp to this already pre-existing one, so at least that's not too bad. Okay, let's see. Test it out. Oh, that just immediately drops. Okay. Oh! Shower curtain fail! I wasn't even looking at it. There you are. <laughs> Hibernating. Hibernating. I didn't even see what failed. Just the shower curtain in general. Okay, we finally met the match <laughs> for the shower curtain. It cannot quite do it all. Um... I don't know if that'll be okay. Yeah, it's better. Okay, goes through that portal. Oh, but doesn't. Ugh, that angle's bad then. I don't know. Maybe that angle? No. More up? Critical error. But then we still have this active, don't we? Oh, we don't. Okay. Okay. Well, that wasn't bad. Let's see. Oh, I see. The button is turning it on. Nope. <laughs> Convoy does not work. <laughs> I think it mainly failed here. I wasn't really watching, <laughs> but I think this might need some steel pipes. 
Maybe. I don't know. I guess we could do both. Shower curtain and the pipe. Yeah, that seems a little bit better. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> I love that they all fall on their back and have to roll over to get in. Okay. There we go. <laughs> This test requires the vehicles to drive faster than their safety limiters allow. Mm. The orange Aperture Science Propulsion Gel is able to increase the test vehicle's velocity threefold. As a side effect, it also provides marginal increases to vehicle driver fun. <laughs> Avoid the red laser. I don't like the angle. <laughs> That's not gonna be fun. Um, okay. It's not gonna be able to make that angle. Oops. That's not gonna be fun. I mean, it is gonna launch it, so it does wanna go fast and it might be able to make that. And it's gonna be launching just as fast coming out the other side, so. Let's see, we'll catch it. Just kinda bring it back down. Okay. Let's do some shower curtains. I think that shower curtain will absolutely do nothing. Um. Okay. Mainly we'll really need to build out our structures here. Oops. That's not too much. I don't feel like it is. And from here, too. For sure. Isn't too bad. Let's see if the convoy can do it though. No red at all. Oh, a little bit on that shower curtain. But it just does it. It just does it.
The existing construction is an example of how to apply the principle of deflection, which uses anchor points that are not directly accessible. Right. Don't forget that we have granted you unlimited access to the Library of Best Practices to review other useful principles. Meh. Okay. <laughs> Beast mode. Easy for you. It's just easy. It's fine. Um... Okay. I can see that it wants me to go through the portal, so I have enough speed to make this jump. So, let's go ahead and just kind of start building out a little rough draft of our road. I mean, then I'll go through there, and I think it'll be fine there. So, start building it out. I don't think that that's gonna have a happy fun time, but I kind of want to see. I don't think it's gonna work very well. Um, yeah. I want to see if I can do it without using these anchor points up here, though. Um, and I think I can. I think I just need to double layer this bottom with tri triangles. Oops, god damn. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. It looks like it first has stress here, which I guess makes sense. I probably need to... Still having some stress, but not too terrible. It goes through, it goes through, and we're fine. I don't know if a convoy's gonna make it, though, because it's having some pretty crazy stresses. Okay. Okay, I guess we're fine. Just double layer our triangles and we're good. <laughs> Not too shabby. 17? In this test, the blue Aperture Science Repulsion Gel will reflect any objects that fall onto it. Yes. Please enjoy observing all the fun that the vehicle drivers will have. Magnificent. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to assume it's going to have us bounce on that. I want to see where it will have them bounce to. So we bounce. And yeah, we just need to get caught there. Kind of low. Kind of low. It was a little bit lower than I was expecting. So... I don't know, maybe like that. So we catch them, they go through, they'll come up here, and then they'll bounce again, and then we'll have to figure out where they get caught there. So let's go ahead, build this out.
Might need triangles up top too. Yeah. I wasn't loving that. Oh, well, you know what? I bet if we go ahead, let's go ahead and make our preliminary one up here. Because that will help. I guess we'll just assume that we'll kind of catch them at the same spot. I don't think that that's a bad assumption. Okay. boxes are actually good too for this sort of stuff because they're they're triangles <laughs> they're all triangles um so yeah that's not a bad not bad at all what do i want to do here this block definitely needs something helping it Okay. Oh, I think that this is going to have issues, though. Over here. Hmm. Maybe? No. I don't know. I think that this is going to have some stresses over here. So I guess we'll see. Yeah. This had the stress first. I wonder if I even need this bottom stuff. Because it might be weighing it down. It still has the stress there. I think it's really because of this here. Gonna add another point, maybe. Maybe I need triangles up here to help it lift itself up, sort of thing. doing too much. I think that's gonna... Yeah. Oh, well, I forgot this triangle. Oops. Can't make it there. There we go. Yeah. What do we need? This is pulling down. Like, all the way. And it's not like I can build out over this for support. Like, okay, so it will touch it. I wonder if I build stuff out here, though, if it's going to have any issues. So it does catch it. It's 
that's not super nice about it. But it is catching it, so it's not falling. Get the bridge. Okay, I'm gonna start over. I don't even know if I needed to be that far out. Where does it, where do they go to? Yeah, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. It's just low. It's low. Okay. You can only go there for that. That just doesn't look like it's gonna work. Yeah. And if I have shower curtains from here kind of helping, yeah, it still will not. Um, What if I made, I know we're gonna have a road up here anyways. What if I made, can I make shower curtains from here? I can. Okay, for some reason I was thinking that the shower curtains could only come from a spawn point. Okay. So if I do something like this, which I probably was still, Have it be down. isn't happy. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I didn't mean to drive. Um, the stress, there's so much stress here. I could share that stress yeah by making it like a box here I feel like I would almost need this to do the same thing here and then I might even still need structures up top to help it pull itself up just feels like it's a lot but maybe it's what I need I don't know it doesn't look like it's gonna work there's still 
so much stress right here. I doubt that's going to change anything by making them road versus not. What am I not thinking of? Maybe I just need one even though. <laughs> Building a bridge with it having nothing to hang on to. You know what? I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna start with this bridge. And I don't know. I'll maybe make it this far out. I'm gonna see if I can get it to, oops, to stay up by itself. so I can then do more triangles up top of it. And I do think it needs this bottom one to help support it. And keep it up. I might not even need these top ones, but I don't know. I'll keep them for now. one at all times no matter what I build. 
that same one has so much stress on it. Okay, that's working a bit better already. I think I was doing too much up top. That at least stayed though. Okay. not breaking immediately but it, I think it will <laughs> soon okay let's see ooh okay we made it up top okay it is stressed but we got them I do not think it's gonna survive a convoy I knew that working up down though would work better. Come on. You just have to hold out a little bit longer. This is stressful. Okay. It held. I'm surprised. Yeah, I knew that my issue was I was starting at the bottom one. But starting from the top, it's way easier because then you can build out your supports from there. How am I to pay for all this? I haven't any money. We did it! Well, there's your money, Harry. Yeah. Gringotts, the wizard Those boxes at the bottom really helped a lot. Boxes are very, very good because it's four triangles. The more triangles you have, the better, kind of. <laughs> Thought we wanted a lax low energy stream. Here we are using a long brain pack. This is still very lax. Oh. Oh, I think I'm tensing up my arm. Not on purpose. Okay. Need to drive. Drink water. Become. No. No, no, no. I don't think it'll bounce without being dropped on it. Yeah, it'll just kind of bounce. Target acquired. <laughs> okay. So. I think I want it to go up. Like up there. So it's gonna drive up. It's gonna bounce on the gel, come over. I'll definitely need to make a ramp here. So it doesn't fall. It's like I can't go out that way, but we'll do this. I could probably shower curtain from here at the very least, um, but that's not going to do much. So we'll bounce, we'll hit this, we'll hit that guy, then we'll hit this. Actually, we don't need to, because then I can just build another ramp. 
here. Yeah, I think ramp-wise we're good, but definitely not structure-wise. Okay. Might be doing too much. Okay. I think we'll be fine there. Might add one more there. Okay. Um, okay, and then here, I'm guessing I can't build into, yeah, not into there, so we'll have to build up. Will those two boxes just work without Oops. thing in between them? Oh no. Um, okay. And then you have shower curtains, so you're fine. I actually do kind of want to see. Yeah, that one is not happy. I figured it might not be. I think I. Don't need this much. There we go. They go up. Bounce badly. Okay, what happened? Too much? Yeah. Hmm. I have to get it over here, though. Maybe I need to make something here, actually. Oh, but I can't go through that. Can nothing go through this? Yeah. Okay, so I can't build out there. Unless I continue this. And have it land here and instead of bouncing it just continues on so I kind of need it to be at an angle a decently extreme angle <laughs> um, yeah
<laughs> this is very stressed. And not an angle at all. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. I don't know, because if I lessen the angle here, it's not going to make it over it, I don't think. Over this thing. Oh, but then it would. Here, let's see, maybe. It might be just enough to get it to bounce how we want it to. No. Not really. Hmm. Yeah, we have to get over this. You know what? We need to have it not go over the repulsion gel. <laughs> as much as much as we can. Yeah, there we go, because that slows it down. It still hits that wall, though. That's actually the problem. So that's not the problem. The speed isn't the problem, because no matter what, it's going to hit this wall. Maybe I don't want it to jump. I thought it would bounce nicely. <laughs> That's not happening. I do something like this where it's gonna catch itself and keep going. I wonder if that'll work out. No. I don't know. But then we don't hit that. And it just can't make it. So if I can get this to work out well, then we'll have it. What does it need? It needs something over here. Um Yeah. The stabilizer. So it stays up. <laughs> okay. It hits. And then it goes through. Oh, it barely makes it. I don't hate you. There we go. Okay. I don't know if a convoy will work. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, I think it'll break that part of it. <sighs> One car at a time. <laughs> um. But I mean, I should be able to fix this with just some extra supports, honestly. They don't start driving quick enough. It hits it and it's like, uh. I wonder if I make it flatter. And then I need to have these connecting. Ok, 
okay. Yep, they're moving a little bit quicker. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no! Oh, can the last little guy make it? No! <laughs> Where did it fail? I think here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. We just need some extra supports here. Let's see. If just adding a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Oh no! <laughs> I forgot that I only had... <laughs> I didn't have actual things over there. <laughs> it's been working though. It's just that third cart that can't handle it. Okay. Well, we'll just add some extra supports. That will not be bad. I think that might be all it needs. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> Next level. This test chamber includes apparatus that will launch Aperture Science High Energy Pellets. Okay. As part of a required test protocol, we must inform you that the Aperture Science High Energy Pellets may cause mechanical failures to the test vehicles, such as complete vaporization. That would be an issue. Due to the durability specifications of roadway convertible planks, the high energy pellet will rebound from their surface. Okay. Some testing apparatus can be activated when an energy pellet enters its connected energy pellet catcher. Mm. Okay, so then we have to figure out the angle to get it to go into the catcher. Um, which then, oh, activates this so that it swings up. Test. Oh. Okay. Oops. I'm guessing it needs to be probably solid. Yeah. <laughs> and then it'll just keep bouncing forever. Okay. going when it hits there. Okay. Um. I feel like I just need to edit the angle. I've gone so elaborate, I know. <laughs> it's gonna take it a while, and it will not make it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's our angle for that. Um, and that'll get us here. So then once we get there, then we just need to go straight. Okay.
Okay. Shower curtain. Oh gosh. Messed that one up. Shower curtains. Um I'm sure I'm gonna need more than that though. Okay, it's at least enough time that they can get there. And yeah. Easy. I don't know if this will actually hold up to the convoy, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> that last one hitched a ride and I was a little worried. Level 20. Okay. Oh, there's two and they come off of each other. And they need to go up here. Hmm. I need it here. I'm just gonna build this straight down. So what? I need... I need this one to come straight over and hit up here. But then this one is going to... hit it as well. Because if I do this... Well, yeah, but it'll hit it from both sides. So I need it... That's not fun. <laughs> this is... This is rough. If I can maybe build out to have it hit hit here and then go up maybe that's what I need to try to do hmm. need to do a better build <laughs> So the angle isn't right. Close. 
Okay, there we go. Is it gonna hit right to it? Perfect. Beautiful. Now I just need to replicate that on the other side. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um... Oh, but they hit each other. Whoa. Oh, they hit each other. I don't even think I have the right angle. It's like, I need it. There's no way to delay it. Unless I make that a solid for this side and I have it hit here instead. Yep, like that. But at a different angle, obviously. Okay. It does eventually happen. Is it quick enough? Is it quick enough? I guess we'll have to see. But we have the angles that it is happening. Okay. And that's just to get to the bottom here. Where are we even leaving? <laughs> okay, so we come through here. We're getting launched out. And I need it to basically drive on this and come over. How are we launching out? <laughs> Okay. A little bit. Oh, but I can't. Shit, that's right. Because then if that's solid... At least those two cannot be solid, right? Mm, no, none of them can be solid. Okay. Let's still try. Um, oops. And then I think we'll have to start from here. Hopefully that will catch it enough. Just because we need it to come out of that portal first. <coughs> Quack. Hmm. So it'll come out, we'll just have to hope that it hits this, comes through, it can't drive on this because otherwise our proton things <laughs> fail. So I kind of want to build a ramp, but the ramp would have to be here before it gets here. <laughs> I just don't know if that's enough clearance for the little car, but I guess we can see. Let's 
save. Oh, but that goes straight up. Malfunctioning. So it has no angle. That car. What do I do? would have to have it hit a wall or whatever. <laughs> what if I built, just like the other things where I'm angling it, I build a wall there so, or a platform thing so that it hits it and forces it to come over. I don't know if that's gonna work. Then it hits. <laughs> but not enough. Oops, oops, oops. Not what I wanted. I guess we'll see what happens. Oh. Oh, oh, it almost made it. <laughs> this is uh, definitely not how it should be done, but I definitely want it to work <laughs> now. Put too much into this at this point. Okay. Uh huh. Perfect. Kind of. Okay, but it made it. Critical error. Oh, but it didn't have enough to go across. <laughs> It had issues because I think it was already falling. So if we fix that. I don't hate you. It might have enough to make the clearance jump. Elaborate and elegant? I don't know that's elegant. It is elaborate. The fact that I have the protons working makes me want to stick with this plane because. <laughs> They're working. Um, and that definitely seems to be the hardest part of this. I think we'll just build another triangle up, honestly. that maybe I need to build on I don't know what building underneath and on top really does actually though if that's going to like be less good I'm not sure Do much better than what it already was. Yeah. Worse, in fact. I wonder if I actually. Do I need this little lip here? Yeah, I do. So it does need to come out this far.
I do want it to get some height though so that it's really a ramp down like the whole way you know and get some speed before we go over but I'm wondering if with that do I maybe rebuild this just underneath something like this mm. yeah that doesn't work for this part but I also I mean I, I didn't even use any shower curtains. I mean, how did we expect that to work without shower curtains, honestly? <laughs> um, no, but I also didn't even, I could definitely help it by attaching here and here and stuff. Okay. <laughs> This is taking a lot of stress. Especially when it gets hit. <laughs> yeah. Um. What does just one shower curtain do to that? Bad. <laughs> it does bad. Um. If I put an extra thing there. I thought the shower curtains were amazing, but they're seeming to fail us right now, which is really rude. Let's go ahead and see what this does. Now functioning. But it can't make it all the way. It can't make it all the way. But I think... Well, I might be able to make a little bit of this... into a drivable area. But not the full thing for sure. Maybe like this and we can make... Oops, make this drivable. That might be just exactly what it needs. Okay, the proton makes it. Ah, oh, it just need, it needs a little bit more. But that proton will not make it. So, I probably need to change that. Right? I love how I'm not even using any of these up here, actually. I didn't even see them. Um. Hmm. Unless I can... 
angle this up a bit more. I don't hate you. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Chapter two done. Let's do the convoy. I don't know that the convoy is going to make it. <laughs> Definitely not convoy approved. <laughs> oh. I might just actually be able to make this a bit longer. <laughs> oh no. Um, that way it doesn't flip over like it wants to. And it just sends it right on its way. Yeah, okay. Oh, come on, last two little guys. They're not gonna have enough speed. No. Almost, though. Almost. The, st the stress is here. So let's try to alleviate that stress from these points. I mean, it's kind of working. Nearly headless Nick. <laughs> um, if I help it anchor there, maybe? Hmm. Oh, I should have tested first, that's what I meant to do. Yeah. It's more harm than helping. Um. Hmm. Let's see. I don't want to delete this, because I don't want it to mess with the angle that we've got. I just go ahead and make that. And then they're two separate pieces. It's still not super happy with that, honestly. Um the correct way to do it but it was a way to do it and we did it okay <laughs> not too shabby um i'm gonna call it a day how am i paying for this you. i haven't any money well there's your money harry gringotts the wizard bank um i do want to do that first one because we forgot to do the convoy for that Oh, now we get to be watched. They're like, hey, by the way, you will be monitored at all times. Congratulations as a former trainee, chief custodian, apprentice, you are now entitled to food and artificial sunlight. Lovely. Additionally, you will be enrolled in our continued testing program. Of course. Um, so yeah, this first one, I didn't do the convoy because I didn't know about the convoy. So let's do that.
Will this just work as is for the convoy? I don't even need to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> It looks so easy now, I know. There we go. 20 convoys delivered. Great, I just needed to do that because I knew that's what I needed to do for myself. Woo! What a day of work.